having any legal background, why does a man with such draconian attitudes in Parliament in the 21st century is still allowed to it, be a peer of the realm? I, I've got a note. This Is this Sir Christopher Chope? Is this, well, I've got a note oh, sorry, on the screen. Yes, sorry, That's all right, yes, Helen, that's my sorry. job. You speak of Sir Christopher Chope, who, of course, by uh, utilising, I think, a fairly, I'm not sure, arcane parliamentary procedure was to st- may, able to stop a bill going forward as regards FGM. And there is a feeling now that, well, your Conservative colleague perhaps should be questioned over his night with Jacob rees Oh, no. Um, this is the government's fault. This is not Sir Christopher's fault. But Had he not said... What, what, what does one have to say object? Is that what... But, but um, government controls the parliamentary timetable. There is time to pass this bill properly. What Sir Christopher was stopping was a bill being passed without any debate. Parliament exists to debate laws. We can't pass laws that affect people's lives without them being considered. This was an attempt to short-circuit the legislative process. The government should have made time for the bill, which it is now going to do. The bill is a good bill. It ought to be on the statute book. But parliamentary procedures should not be abused by governments that... we. Would you have said object? I wouldn't have said object. Why no. so, then? You why, just why, argued because, favourably because in favour of I, I, I support the bill... But But hang on, Mr. Rees-Mogg, either you support the application of parliamentary... No, he's he's entitled to do it, and he's fair to do it, because... He's fair? He's fair. The government didn't make the time for this bill. And then when he says object, the government says, oh, it's all his fault. No, it's not. The government controls the parliamentary timetable. What was this bill doing, being a private member's bill? Why wasn't it a government bill being brought forward to deal with that? Isn't the most important thing the protection is afforded to young women? Absolutely, and we spend... Days we're going to have uh, Thursday debating nothing very much this week. The whole day could have been devoted to to the bill. Um, we have days of general debate discussing nice to do things with no do consequence. There is plenty of parliamentary time to do this. The government chose not to. Do you think this is when you become more politician than person, Mr. Rees? No, I, I, don't I know in your heart you're a decent bloke, but no. you, and I, I appreciate you must have. We must have no. duty of care towards parliamentary procedure. But heaven's sake. No, 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 no. Look after the girls. Absolutely, but the government should have done this. It's, you see, law is very important because law creates criminal offences. Yes. You could get to prison if you break this law. Yeah. And surely that should be debated to make sure it's properly written. But you wouldn't have said object. I wouldn't have said object as so it So he happens. was wrong to say object? Um, I think he was entitled to say object and it is a... <laughs> no, no, it is important to defend people who do things that you wouldn't choose to do. Right. If we, we lived in a world where anything people did that didn't have my imprimatur was banned, it would be a very peculiar world. <laughs>